Hello, this is Mrs. Garrett and I'm a teacher at Emerson in primary. Today, we are gonna be drawing our feelings in our Emerson journal. So what you're gonna need for this assignment is you're going to need a pencil and you're going to need all of the crayon colors that go along with the scribble spot. So we have green for feeling peaceful, orange for feeling confident, blue for feeling sad, yellow for happiness, red for anger, and we have gray or black for anxiety. I also copied down the feelings and made a little scribble spot with their names. So if you're older, this is something that you can do or you can refer back to the book for your feeling color. I'm also going to have my journal. So make sure you have all of these things available for this lesson. So if you need to go get them, pause the video, go get them and come back. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my journal to the first blank page. Blank. And today I am feeling I think I am feeling happiness and confidence. I feel confident that school is going to be amazing this year, and I feel so happy that I'm gonna to get to see you virtually on Zoom. So I'm gonna pick out my two colors, yellow for happiness and orange for confidence. So I'm gonna make my first scribble spot. Confident. Happiness. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my gray or black crayon to write my face and my arms and my legs like in the book. Now, if you're not able to do that yet, that's okay. Just do what you're able to do. and he is happy and confident. Squiggly arms, squiggly legs, fingers, and some shoes. Crayons back. Mrs. Garrett always likes to have her workspace organized. And then I'm gonna use my pencil. If you're able to write words, I'm gonna use my pencil to write my feelings on my paper. So I'm going to put confident and happiness. Beautiful. So when I'm done, I'm going to close up my journal oh so gently. And now it is your turn for your assignment to complete a page in your book about your feelings. Now, when you're done completing your journal and putting your feelings inside, whether you do it with a picture in words or just with the picture, we're going to upload it onto Canvas and there's gonna be a video that shows you how to do that. 
I'm so glad you joined me today.